What's up gals and pals, I'm Coach Vino, this is The Progress Bar, and ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe I'm about to say these words. This is the last video of 2023. That's right folks, we are bringing in the new year of 2024, and it has been a hell of a year here on the channel. Lots of changes, and I wanna say I appreciate and thank all of you who have supported everything I've been doing on the channel. Um, and I look forward to what's coming in 2024, right folks? So to celebrate the new year, I am going to make you guys three delicious sparkling wine cocktails. But we're gonna do things a little bit different for this channel because I'm gonna make three delicious tiki sparkling wine cocktails. So make sure you stick around because we're gonna boogie down. All right, folks, so the first cocktail we're gonna make today is a riff on probably the most popular tiki cocktail ever created, and that is the Mai Tai, and this cocktail is called the Mai Tai Spritz. The Mai Tai Spritz was created by Martin Kate of Smuggler's Cove. All right, so let's look at what is in the sauce for our Mai Tai Spritz. The first thing we're gonna need is one ounce of a Jamaican rum. I'm gonna be using one of my favorites, and that is Apple 10 8, all right? So one ounce of Jamaica rum. The next thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of dry Curacao. I'm gonna be using Pierre Ferrand, which is probably the most popular brand of, uh, of dry Curacao. And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of an orgeat, okay? I'm gonna be using pecan orgeat. This is something that is made with my friend Jessica of Savage Kitchen. She makes amazing syrups. I'll leave a link down in the description. But you can use a traditional, uh, you know, almond orgeat, all right? So half an ounce of orgeat. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of lime juice, all right? I'm sorry, we're gonna do, yeah, half an ounce of lime juice, right? Which I have already pre-squeezed here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add some ice to our shaker. And we're gonna shake that up for about 10 to 15 seconds, all right? Let me make sure I get this thing closed up good. <laughs> All right, folks, I think I shook this bad boy up enough, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice tall glass and we're gonna pour this bad boy right in. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Excellent, that looks good. You can use a highball or whatever kind of tall glass you got, all right, folks? And there's that, all right? Now, now what I don't want is I don't want to add any of the sparkling wine yet. I'm gonna add all of that at the end of the video because I wanna taste all three at the end of the video and I don't want any of the fuzz of the fizz to kind of go away. So I'm gonna set this aside and at the end of the video, we'll add our ice, we'll add our sparkling wine and boom, we'll try them all out, all right folks? There it is. This is our almost done as <laughs> Mai Tai Spritz. All right, folks, so for our next sparkly wine tiki cocktail, we're gonna make a Drunken Skull. The Drunken Skull was created by Brian Miller for the Death & Co book. All right, so let us look at what is in the sauce for our Drunken Skull cocktail. We're gonna need three quarters an ounce of a Demo Rara rum. I'm gonna be using um, Eldorado 8 for mine, but you can go ahead and use anything you got, all right, folks? So that is uh, three quarters an ounce, all right? And next thing we're gonna need is three quarters an ounce of a Jamaican rum. Once again, I'm gonna be using Appleton Estates. I'm sorry, we're gonna be using Appleton 8, all right? And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of lime juice, which I've got right here, all right? And a half an ounce of a grenadine, all right, folks? So I'm gonna be using Lieber & Co., so a half an ounce of grenadine, but if you make the stuff yourself, God bless you, go ahead and use that too, <laughs> all right, guys? And then uh, we're going to use uh, two dashes of absinthe. For me, that's about a, bar, a half a bar spoon, all right? So we're gonna look at half a bar spoon of absinthe, all right, that looks good. All right, folks, and then we're gonna go ahead and shake that up again for about 10 to uh, 15 seconds, all right? Of course, we're gonna add our ice, and then, and then let her rip. <laughs> All right, folks, I think we shook that bad boy up enough. We're gonna be pouring that into a flute here. All right, so let's go ahead and pour that right into the flute. All right. Looks good, it's got some pretty color. All right, gorgeous, gorgeous looking cocktail. That's pretty. All right, folks, so once again, like I said with the first cocktail, I, you know, I'm gonna pour all of the sparkling wine in at the end of the video so I don't lose any of the suds. I want it to be fresh and bright and effervescent, right, folks? So there it is, our halfway done <laughs> drunken skull. 
All right, folks, so for our last cocktail of 2023, we're gonna make a cocktail called Hinky Dinks Fizzy. This cocktail was created in 1984 for Trader Vic's restaurants and was adapted by Smuggler's Cove. All right, folks, so let us look at what is in the sauce for probably the most fun named cocktail I've made on the channel in 2023. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is one ounce of a white rum. I'm gonna be using uh, Don Ku, uh, which is obviously a native rum of my island of Puerto Rico. So one ounce of Don Ku white rum, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is one ounce of gin, okay? I'm gonna be using a gin that was recently uh, sent to me by my good friend Matt and his wife Sparkle. Uh, it's from Pennsylvania called Revitalist Gin, all right, folks? So one ounce of gin. Again, I'm gonna be using uh, Revitalist Gin and thank you to Matt and Sparkle for the wonderful gift. They are unbelievable folks, all right? Next thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of apricot liqueur. I'm gonna be using Luxado which is my favorite apricot liqueur. Stuff is fan-freaking-tastic. Next, we're gonna need an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, okay, folks? I'm gonna be using a freshly squeezed can <laughs> of pineapple juice. Um, if you got the fresh stuff, if you feel like squeezing it, go ahead, folks. I do like the Trader Joe's stuff also, but they didn't have it when I went looking for it, all right? So an ounce and a half of pineapple juice. Next, we're gonna need a half an ounce of passion fruit syrup. I just made this yesterday, so... Uh, freshly made passion fruit syrup. Here we go. All right, so half an ounce of this stuff, which is always delicious. It's great tropical notes and tartness to the cocktail, right, folks? Now, now that we got that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a whip shake, right, folks? Let me untie my crushed ice here, which means basically you add a little bit of ice to the, to the shaker. All right, not too much, all right? Just enough to, uh, you know, fill a little bit of the scoop there. And then you're gonna shake this until you no longer hear the ice, all right, folks? So we're a little quick little whip shake, all right? All right, folks, as you can hear, there's no more ice in this bad boy here, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and put that there, and we're gonna open it up just to release the gases. And now we're gonna go ahead and get our glass out. Now, this is traditionally served in a snifter or something kind of like in a snifter form, so I'm gonna be using a all-purpose wine glass here, right? Because vino has no snifter. Uh, the snifter I had no longer exists, let's put it that way, <laughs> all right? So the first thing we're gonna do, though, is we're gonna put two ounces of our sparkling wine into the glass, all right? So now we're gonna start using our sparkling wine, all right, folks? Let me just push all this bad boys to the side. We're gonna get our sparkling wine out. I'm gonna be using Prosecco, La Marca Prosecco, which is one of my favorite uh, affordable Prosecco. Stuff is really, really good. It's got some great components to it. Um, but you can use champagne or cava, whatever else you got, all right? So just wanna make sure it's in a drier style, okay? Let's go ahead for 2023 to 24. Let's see what we get here. Oh yeah, folks, there it is. Happy New Year to everybody, all right, folks? Now, like I said, we want two ounces of our sparkling wine inside of the uh, glass here. All right, I just wanna make sure we get the suds down. Sorry if this is uh, like watching paint dry, folks. <laughs> all right, so there's your two ounces of your sparkling wine. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour in our drink. All right, beautiful. And then we're gonna go ahead and just fill that with some crushed ice, all right, guys? So I got my crushed ice here, I got my Louis bag. All right, let's fill this up with some crushed ice. This looks really nice already. All right, there it is. Oh, there it is, folks. Beautiful, beautiful, all right. Oh, look at that, look at that, ain't she, ain't she pretty? All right, then we're just gonna garnish that with a couple of pineapple fronds. All right, let's stick these son of a guns right over here. And there we have it, folks, our Hinky Dinks Fizzy, or whatever the hell they call it. <laughs> all right, folks, so now that we have all of the cocktails done, let's go ahead and pour our sparkling wine into all the cocktails. Let's put them in order of uh, how we made them here. All right, so first, our Mai Tai Fizz spritz, but I need to actually add some ice to that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill the glass with some ice. All righty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, all right? I think that's enough there, okay? So now we'll fill that with some ice. Then we're gonna top it off with some champagne, uh, some, some Prosecco, some Cava, some American Brut, whatever you got, folks, all right? So there it is. Oh, that's pretty, right? And then we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a little bit of mint, all right? A little mint spray here, a little lime wheel there. And uh, what do you say, guys? Should we do an umbrella? I mean, it's a Mai Tai, right? Let's go ahead. <laughs> we got an umbrella here, right, folks? 
So there it is, folks. That is the complete Mai Tai spritz. We'll put this over here. And then we're gonna add some uh, sparkling wine to our uh, second cocktail, which I already got, Drunken Skull. There it is, our Drunken Skull cocktail. There it is, oh, beautiful. This one's a pr very pretty cocktail, man. Oh, look at this. Look at this collection of tiki cocktails, sparkling wine, Bring in the new year, folks. You cannot beat this. So there it is, folks, our Tiki Fi Sparkling Wine Cocktails. All right, folks, I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely ready to end the year in sparkling fashion, tiki style. So let's go ahead and give each one of these bad boys a sippy sip, starting with the Mai Tai Spritz. All right, folks, happy new year to you all. Cheers. Oh, I, mean, I mean, what can you say? What can you say? How could this be wrong? It is it's absolutely a Mai Tai. Those delicious bubbly notes kind of open it up a little bit. It's obviously a little bit lighter, a little bit crispier than a Mai Tai, like a classic Mai Tai, but it's yummy, it's refreshing, and is a fantastic way to end the new year, begin the new year, whatever it is. I gotta take another sip. This is delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. If you're a Tiki fan or Mai Tai fan, this is absolutely a great way to celebrate with some sparkling wine and one of your favorite cocktails, all right? Next, let's try out the Trunken Sailor. Cheers. Oh, that's very nice. Now, this is more of a traditional champagne-style cocktail, but, you know, that Jamaican rum and the Demra rum really add some beautiful notes to it. You get some vanilla, you get some a little bit of that funk. And then you get the beautiful dryness of the champagne, kind of eat, mellowing everything out. This is a very nice, this is much more of an elegant style cocktail. Mm. Mm. Super good. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna have to finish all of these. If this is a hit, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna be drunk after this. <laughs> and I don't like to get drunk. Anyway, folks, so here we go. We're gonna try our last cocktail, which is the Hinks, Hinky Dinks Fizzy. I'll never remember this. I gotta read my notes. Cheers, folks. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh yeah, that one is definitely probably the lightest of these cocktails. It is much more refreshing. It has some real kind of like, a, you know, resort vibes going on. It's so light, it's so crisp, it's very good. Uh, this is one I think would be very crowd friendly because it doesn't have a huge amount of rum flavor. Uh, yeah, the gin is very, you know, mellowed out also in this cocktail. Let me give this another sip. Mm. Oh yeah, that's very nice, guys. I actually really like what the apricot notes bring to this cocktail. It has some real nice stone fruit flavors, right guys? So anyway, I wanna wish you all a very a merry, no, no, a very happy new year. I'm still a little bit in Christmas zone here. <laughs> so I wanna wish you all a very happy new year. Um, and Vino loves you all and thanks you all again for the support. And uh, if you like the video, please press like, please subscribe, you know, the whole thing. You know, all I care is that you guys enjoyed yourself. So, uh, you know, when life gives you lemons, make, your short, make yourself a cocktail, guys. Cheers.